We'll take two shots out of the 10 inch M85 PAP. Twenty-seven oh four. Twenty-six forty-five. Now two out of our sixteen inch stag with a one and nine twist. Thirty-one sixty-seven. Thirty-one eighty-two. And two shots out of the 20 inch one and nine twist. Thirty-two seventy-six. Temperature today is just right around 30 degrees. The ammunition had been sitting out at ambient for a little while, so it is 30. I think you got a little more in these. I'm curious how the T6 performs even at higher velocities. I know we're probably still working on getting even higher out of this one. As you mentioned, case capacity is full, but I think it'd be interesting to see what it's like now, and then if you get even faster, what happens to the T6 bullet. This is a 6x6x16 inch clear block, 582 feet per second and 3 and a quarter inches on the calibration. It did lock back. Really short neck on that. There is disruption within the first almost instant there. You can see something's traveling up there. I actually didn't hit the BB this time. We leave the block right here. You have disruption all the way through to about the 10 inch mark. It settles down. We poke into the first milk jug here got lucky on that one I should have been a little more careful to make sure they're lined up through the first milk jug into the second here and it kind of tried to poke there give me a second and I'll get it out if I were a betting man I'd say that signature tip of the t6 is what came through here almost need a larger gel block to make sure he captured it or I could have shot lower but pretty sure that's what broke off there their base is what was left to penetrate and it probably tumbled a little bit there towards the end. Not bad. Full 16 inches plus two milk jugs. <laughs>